So hey guys, today we will be seeing classic versus new GL accounting and reporting around it. So this video will be a introduction to our new training program for course of learning classic GL accounting versus new GL accounting. So our core principle behind this training program or behind this course is uh, it is our honest attempt to make student understand the why behind every step or every configuration that we do in the system. Right, so if we straightly go into the agenda of the course, then we will be covering the uh, introduction of the parallel valuation approaches or the multi-valuation approach. We'll be discussing about uh, why classic GL accounting or why new GL accounting is required in, uh, in the SAP or uh, for the business what are the different valuation approaches and why business needs to choose for different valuation approaches. Then what configuration goes around this, both of these methods. And then we will do the testing around these uh, approaches. And then we will draw a financial report uh, considering the classic GL accounting approach and the new GL accounting approach. And finally, we will summarize everything that, that we, are, we are going to cover. So if we, if we talk about the, uh, the basic introduction on what is parallel valuation approach, then we will we'll come around something like uh, financial reports, which needs to be generated by adhering to the accounting standards. So every company or organization has to prepare a financial statement at the end of the year. And those statements needs to be prepared adhering to some kind of accounting standards. So every country in which the company resides have some rules and regulations. Com every country advises for following certain accounting standards. For example, India might uh, advise us to follow the Indian accounting standard. Some countries might advise us to follow US GAAP, IFRS, et cetera, et cetera. So considering those laws or rules, the companies has to prepare or draw a financial statement according to those accounting standards, following those accounting standards. Now, in case of multinational companies, the company have their presence in more than one country and each country could ask them to prepare their financial statement versions in the different, following different accounting standards. And then if, if the company's headquarter resides in a XYZ country, that country might ask them to prepare their group financial statement, group company's financial statement in by following the IFRS or US GAAP or might be any other accounting standard. So in those cases, multinational companies are required to draw a financial statement using the multiple accounting standards. For their subsidiary companies, they might have to use different accounting standard. And when drawing up the report for the group company, they might have to use different accounting. They might have to follow the rules of different accounting standards. So now the catch here is each accounting standard have their differences. And those differences needs to be handled within the ERP system. So if we, if we take a classic example of uh, depreciation rules, then uh, some accounting standards might say that depreciation on furniture should be 15% on an annual level, whereas the other accounting standard might say uh, depreciation on the furniture should be 10% on an annualized level. So in this case, those, the 5% the delta needs to be handled. So how that 5% how that difference of depreciation from one valuation approach to another evaluation approach should be handled is what we are going to see and what solutions are available in within the SAP to handle those uh, to handle these kind of scenarios. So this, uh, as part of solution, there is one as a classic accounting and one as a new GL accounting. So we need to so what we are going to do throughout this training program is first we need to understand the necessity or need of these two different valuations or any of the solutions which which leads us to have have the multi valuation approach financial reports and for when we un when we first we will understand theoretically on the balance sheet and a profit and loss level why it is necessary and how the end results will look like or should look like in case of multi valuation approaches and then we will follow it into the sap seeing that how sap can handle it and what are the ways to handle it right so the demo introduction part we are going to see in the same video but before that, if you are, if you are interested in learning classic GL accounting and new GL accounting in SAP, then you can opt out for this course uh, by visiting our website erpcollege.co. So quickly, we will uh, show you where you can go and how you can look for. So you can go to erpcollege.co. This is our website. In the website, if you see, we have SAP FICO, FICO course as a separate tab. 
you can visit that tab and inside that tab you can see the different different courses available so in this we have one uh, classic versus new gl accounting uh, course where wherein you can read all the description that what and all you are going to learn within this course what is the duration of the course what is the content of the course and all the things and you can just go and uh, purchase this course and you will you will be able to download one pdf which will lead you to all the video recordings and all the material related to the course right And then apart from these modules, now uh, new GL accounting will be, uh, we can say it's it's kind of an add-on skill that uh, if we if we understand it and if we know it, it's it's good to have or good to know kind of thing, right? So new GL accounting, uh, so basically we need to understand it's, it's more of a concept than a much more configuration. We don't have to do any uh, too much configuration for this. But but we need to understand what is the new GL accounting and uh, what difference it makes in the system and from the business point of view, right? So we'll start with the new GL accounting. We will see uh, the introduction, like what is new GL accounting. Then we will see the classic GL accounting and then new GL. So there are like these two different concepts. One is classic GL accounting and one is new GL accounting. And then what configuration we will need. And then we will finally test both the uh, concept that are there, right? So we'll start with the introduction of uh, of the topic first. So what is the need of new GL accounting and all? So firstly, we will talk like the introduction of valuation approaches. Okay, so uh, why new GL accounting is necessary is because of the different different valuations uh, uh, approach of valuation or kinds of valuation business follows. Okay, so valuation is the process of determining worth of a company or asset. Okay, so when we say valuation approach, uh, basically whatever we value in our day to day life or in in uh, anywhere we can have value anything with with the two three kinds of different kinds of approach right we can value something as per the market uh, you know market price as per the inside company price and uh, same kind of like we can we can basically we can value anything with with the help of two three different different approaches right so in the same way from a company point of view also we can value our company with the with the different different valuation approaches we can uh, so basically valuation the definition of valuation is like valuation is a process of determining the worth of a company or asset right so there are various methods to evaluate a company multiple met multiple methods or particular valuation approach can be used to evaluate a company okay so any company uh, or any uh, business can use multiple valuation approaches to evaluate their company or they can stick to any one approach and they can keep evaluating their company on that approach okay so the same way the valuation works similarly for preparing profit and loss statement and balance sheet basically the financial statements of a company different kinds of accounting standards can be used okay so uh, when it comes to financial statements like profit and loss and balance sheet the same way uh, we we have uh, different kinds of valuation approaches we can see or we can also call it as different kinds of kinds of accounting standards that can be used to evaluate our company or to prepare our financial statements right a company has to decide by which accounting standards they should follow to prepare financial statement right so a company has to make a decision like which approach they are going to use to prepare their pnl and balance sheet right uh, which accounting standard basically they are going to follow to prepare their financial statements and it depends on the structure of a company like where is the company's group office resides or group company resides and what are the sub subsidiary companies and in which and all countries it is it is located right so depending on that company has to decide which account as per which accounting standard they need to uh, create their profit and loss and balance sheet statements so organization can have multiple financial statements prepared as per different accounting standards okay so a particular company or any multinational company have to prepare their financial statements or the profit and loss and balance sheet in as per multiple accounting standards okay so basically we need to understand what is what is accounting standards so accounting standard is nothing but a, a a book or a guidelines defined by different different countries or globally also there are like some accounting standards that are followed so accounting standards have certain rules inside it uh, for making up the accounting entries or for preparing the balance sheet and profit and loss there are like certain rules and regulations prepared by each country or even uh, certain authorities uh, they have they have published their own accounting standards and company can use any of those accounting standards to prepare their financial statement okay 
so if if company is uh, residing inside india they have to they have to follow indian accounting standards or if someone is in uh, maybe the company is in us they have to follow us gap like generally accepted accounting principle right so these kind of accounting standards company has to follow in order to uh, prepare their financial statements okay now this this totally depends on the uh, company's organizational structure so if we take an example okay so we'll just create a new sheet for new year accounting right so if we take an example let's say we have, we have a, a company called amazon right amazon uh, so if we take an example of amazon so we all know like amazon's group office or the the main head office of amazon resides in us right so amazon is basically a company of us and then amazon have uh, their offices or their operations or their business spread across all over countries like across the world in different different countries in they have their offices or companies in india right they have their companies in europe right uh, similarly for a uh, bunch of asian countries european countries and uh, even in the uh, american continent right so in this case what will happen let's say they have one one company in india right let's say they have one one company in india and uh, abc company in india so when this abc company will uh, will reach their uh, the end of the year of their or the financial year end what this uh, what this company has to do this company firstly is liable to submit their uh, profit and loss and balance sheet to the indian government right so they have to prepare a balance sheet first of all they have to prepare a uh, financial statement as per as per indian uh, accounting standard indian as okay as per indian accounting standard they have to prepare their financial statement first of all right because this company resides in india they they runs their operation in india so they have to file income tax return to the you know, to the indian government and for that reason they have to prepare uh, their financial statement as per the indian accounting standard right and then also abc company is like a subsidiary company of main amazon uh, which is uh, which is basically operating in the us right so e even for amazon since it is it is main, the, the main office of amazon or the main operation is happening from us so us government will also uh, you know expect from the amazon to file the Sub uh, consolidated balance sheet of all their subsidiary companies and consolidated profit and loss of all their subsidiary companies into to the US government, right? So for that reason, ABC company also have to submit its financial uh, reports to their main company as per the US accounting standard. So the second thing that ABC company has to do is is prepare financial statement as per US GAAP. right us gap means us uh, generally accepted accounting principles right so this two now this two becoming as a two valuation right two valuation approaches right these are like two separate valuations one is one is as per indian accounting standard one is as per us gap standard now us gap mostly there are the rules of accounting will uh, will be similar but there will be a uh, some cases where the rule uh, some some acts or some laws or some accounting standard in us gap is different and uh, some standards in indian as per indian uh, as will be different so we need to we need to consider both the both the evaluation approaches and we need to prepare two separate financial statement one is as per our accounting standard and another one is as per our us gap right so this is this is basically the requirement now for us so the company abc company has has to submit their financial reports as per two different accounting standard one is as per indian accounting standard one is as per us gap standard so they need basically separate two separate sets of financial statement okay so this is this is what we call as uh, different valuation approaches or uh, preparing financial statement using the different accounting standards and accounting standards we have uh, majorly used accounting standards are like ifrs which is like uh, a globally accepted accounting standard which is like mostly used by the global companies gap is also again a uh, global accounting standard which which can be which is followed or accepted in multiple countries ind as is indian accounting standard efrs is is used in uh, in european countries as a, uh, as their accounting standard so so every country basically will have their own accounting standard and countries will also accept the international accounting standards like ifrs and gap 
even if if indian company decides to prepare financial reports as per ifrs or gap that is also accepted uh, in many countries uh, right so it's it's depend it's it's a call of uh, business in which uh, as per which accounting standard they want to file uh, their their financial reports and right now we just took an example of one one company where uh, by the by the legal requirement they have to they have to prepare two separate sets of financial reports one is as per indian accounting standard one is as per us gap 